Well, now let's talk about the nuclear model. Nuclear model was developed by Ernest Rutherford. He came upon the idea when he performed the, or had his lab assistants perform the famous gold foil experiment and he discovered the atomic nucleus. And in the process of discovering the atomic nucleus, he also discovered that the atom is mostly space and that the nucleus, even though that's where all the mass is, it's about one trillionth the size of the entire, uh, or the volume of the entire uh, atom. The gold foil experiment was based on an idea like this. We had a radiation source and we had a block of lead that uh, focused a beam of uh, radiation, alpha particles more than likely, onto a gold foil. And uh, when this happened, most of the alpha particles went right through the gold foil and hit the screen on the other side. But every once in a while, a particle would come flying back. And that this surprised them when they suspected that maybe everything should go through. Uh, but everything didn't go through. And uh, everyone saw something would bounce back. And, oh, and I guess I should tell you, Eugene Marsden and Hans Geiger actually did the experiment. They were uh, students of Ernest Rutherford. He gets the credit, but they performed uh, the experiment. I like to point that out. Uh, kind of a little history thing there. Eugene Marsden and Hans Geiger, uh, both uh, great scientists in their own right as they moved on in history. A quote by Ernest Rutherford, it's as if you fired a 15-inch naval shell at a piece of tissue paper and it came back. Um, there had to be something very, very dense inside the atom to knock back these large particles that they were shooting right through the uh, gold foil. Now, most of the particles went right through the gold foil, but a few every so often would come uh, bouncing back. And so there had to be a very dense, very massive um, material but uh, and of course this is gold foil so we know today that's a pretty large nucleus uh, but it was surprising to them and it turns out it's a uh, oh, today it's the nucleus we learned three things from the gold foil experiment the atom is mostly space has a centrally located nucleus and the nucleus is positive and this led to a, a new model, new information, new model. Now, I personally don't think Ernest Rutherford was trying to prove his teacher wrong. Uh, if you remember, J.J. Thompson was Ernest Rutherford's teacher and mentor. And I think he probably was trying to substantiate that the uh, plum pudding model was correct. But there were those scientists like Philip Lennard who disagreed with the Plum Pudding Model, who'd already thought that there was probably uh, a lot of space in the atom. And that was what Ernest Rutherford set out to do. He set out to find out uh, what the, the atom was composed of or how it was composed. And I think he put together a pretty good experiment. And it turns out that the atom is mostly space, but there is some kind of uh, dense area in there. And he called it the nucleus. And he suggested uh, the nuclear model, and this is what he suggested. The, the atom is not a plum pudding uh, positive blob with uh, electrons embedded in it, but the atom is mostly space with a very small, dense, positively charged nucleus and negatively charged electrons located in the atomic space. And a lot of times that's the idea that most people have of the atom today. And we know that's really not the true idea of the atom, but that's how people, they kind of have this uh, idea that the uh, nuclear model or the model that we're going to talk about later, the planetary model, is what the atom is like. And it really isn't. Uh, to really understand the atom, we're going to have to really use our imagination, uh, as we'll see later. So, the nuclear model... Uh, is the uh, model that really begins to show that we have a nucleus and that the uh, nucleus is positively charged and that these negatively charged electrons are out in the atomic space. And notice that, you know, they believe that this positive negative charge had to exist uh, just to keep a balance in nature. Remember, if you have any questions, 
be sure to just uh, go to mrkazi.com or you can um, email me mrkazi at mrkazi.com and I'll, I'll try to get back to you and give you some information on that. Also uh, at mrkazi.com when you go there click on chemistry uh, you can go to the videos page or you can go to uh, YouTube and uh, subscribe to Mr. Kazi uh, on YouTube and uh, every time I come out with a new video you'll know about it. Alright, have a great day. Happy Ion.